Good afternoon. I want to do a quick preview video for the Cyber Monday Antique Auction. Obviously, we're a little early, but tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and we're not working that day or Friday. So I want to get this done today. We had the open house. Thanks to all who came down to see us today. We we're so happy to see the, everybody who did show up. So let me start down here. The building is full. We're, what, 550 lots or so. Um, we were adding things all day today. And uh, but some of them with some really, really interesting furniture, including this great Italian 1980s sectional that is just uber cool and big. But this color right here is about as close as it can become. It, that's the color combination. Uh, the pictures are a little odd because it's such a large piece. The lighting is challenging, uh, but it is a really cool piece. Designer rug from the 60s. I'm drawing a blank on the name right now. The coffee table is super cool. Again, more of this 80s design, decorator type furniture. Really fun pair of display cabinets that are obviously light up. And I always like this uh, lights in the back kind of situation here that are behind the walls that just really display well. And then the glass shelves let the light go all the way through from top to bottom. Good miniature piece here. And this is an actual antique one. Yeah, it's a good antique miniature. Sales and sample possibly or probably. Good mirror, nice pair of uh, early portraits. The Henderdon cabinet is really quite wonderful. Love that speckled paper finish in the back. Beautiful dining room table, Austrian circa 1900. If you have questions while you're watching, go ahead and post them here. Uh, send us a direct message. I uh, will try our best to answer them as we go along. Great set of serving pieces, uh, Hevelin Limoges, but just beautiful. Um, and it's so hard to find just good antique serving pieces in quantity. You can find a platter here or a dish here. If you have nice white or cream colored dinnerware, this would be a beautiful complement to that. And then the Ainsley set is just spectacular. All hand painted, gilded. Every, every plate is different. Three tazas, two different heights. Just a beautiful, beautiful set of dish, dinnerware. Nice French uh, type dresser. One of the first Santas that we'll see, Frederick James. I'll talk more about Christmas pieces here in a second. Italian chair, big king size brass bed. You don't find king size beds very often in any form, but king brass is really hard to find. Like the Demoloon little uh, serving piece here, sideboard. The pair of Asian bronze type lamps are really quite lovely. Nice paintings. A couple of nice paintings in this auction. This rug, it's a room size rug. Pictures are great. For some reason, it did not get added to the auction until today. So if you look through the rugs and thought you saw everything we had, this one wasn't there until today. Uh, more Santas. Let me, again, I'll get back to those in just a few minutes. Cute little uh, child's chair. There are 16 of these stacking, like 1960s chairs in three different lots. Get, let's show you the others upstairs. Neat little screen. A wonderful painting here. Nice little blue and white pot, floral still life. Probably 1930s or 40s. It's not signed. It's just a really nicely done painting. Thought about holding for the art auction, but without a signature, we just thought we'd sell it here as well. The center pot, the center glass uh, urn, possibly Baccarat, has that look and feel to it. Nice, you know, empire bronze gilding. Nice cherubs, uh, candelabra. We have cinnabar, uh, Tucker's form. The cabinet is Bassett. I'm sorry, Broyhill. Uh, it's a good Broyhill line. Kind of fun pieces. Rugs all throughout the auction, or a bunch of rugs throughout the auction. One of, if not the most spectacular silver plate tray. Formed to, if you're carrying it, it actually wrap around your waist to give you more leverage because it's, obviously it's a big tray, it's going to be weighty. You load that thing up with stuff, it's going to be really heavy. But check out the figural handles. Beautiful bright cut work. Love this big tray with the big paw feet on it. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Thonet chairs. Love the bowling alley chairs. Those are fun. Another Santa. 
wonderful portrait, really just filthy dirty, like that newspaper should be white. Um, we cannot find a signature on it, but it could just be not visible through 120 years of grime. So you never know what you're going to... In fact, I never noticed that before. It looks like the handle... I don't know what that is. Is that on a chair? It's hard to say. Is it the arm of the chair? I never saw that till right now. So there's details in that painting that will come out with the cleaning that it would be just the, uh, like he got to mention his pupils are white. His uh, scarf around his neck there is going to be white. I'd love to see when Peggy Van Wick is done cleaning that thing. Like the Jade Bonsai tree. This trunk is really cool. It's from St. Joe. Really industrial look to it. The 1980s Parsons chair is just a killer fabric. And I love the form, this big horseshoe shaped seat. Nice high back. And then the glass table is very unusual too. The, the legs are curved with cutouts, just very nice. Dunbar console table. There's Byerly pieces. John Glenn's signed letter and picture. Got two John Glenn signatures there in one piece. Very nice, hard to find. Cut glass. One mechanical Santa Claus. He's about 40 inches, 35, 40 inches tall. Very cool. He's talking to Grandma and making his list. More really cool, super cool 80s design. Just check out those big killer angles. But then inside, there's some wonderful pieces too. Some good art glass. Kansas City Souvenir is always fun. Silver overlaid bottle. And then these are, oh, I'm drawing a blank on who did these. Jane Hutchinson. Um, a nice collection of those from a collect from an estate out in Lexington. Nice chairs. Beautiful uh, tilt top, uh, inlaid tilt top antique table. Great base, great form. And then we have. Nice French bronze, lamps, more cut glass, good pair of uh, cake stands, and then the Baccarat-like candelabra set. Have some um, Staffordshire. Nice little game table. Beautiful Minton pieces in the auction. Both those stacks are Minton. Uh, reticulated, always nice, hand-painted. More Bialys, another painting there. The big stocking is ours, just kind of a fun piece. You don't see some eight foot tall stockings very often. This rug is kind of a showstopper, 1930s Chinese in just magnificent colors and wonderful condition. Somewhere right here, but honestly, it's in really wonderful shape. It's cut glass, there's hawks, there's all kinds of goodies in there. Collection of promo cars from the collection up uh, stayed up in Bethany. I like the holly pictures, those are kind of fun. A lot of nice antique smalls. We got the derby piece on top, the Victorian cornucopia, the probably Republic period food dogs, nice little bronze vase, wonderful little celadon pieces. This little red flambe glaze is really unusual. The glaze is just very unusual. The form is nice, definitely an Asian piece, but don't know anything else about it. A couple of tea caddies, enamel vase. Another beautiful cornucopia there. And of course we have silver. We have a hundred lots of silver, whether it's coin, sterling, silver plate. Uh, there's some German silver as well. Big, beautiful uh, Chinese bowl, carved hard stone or jade. The Yale vase is pretty cool. Sterling coffee pot and, uh, and uh, milk jug. More sterling, more sterling. Nice inlaid box. Love the crass, crap, sc crappy, scrappy Christmas tree light set. <laughs> I think they work if I remember correctly. Uh, more sterling, the lake, a pitcher of sterling, the coffee service is sterling. Some nice, that looks like Royal Wooster, but it's not marked. Great little Tibetan needlework piece. This is probably the star of the show, even though it looks like it should be in the trash. Hans Wagner Papa Bear chair with the ottoman. Um, obviously, it needs to be completely restored, new upholstery. Um, the woodwork needs to be you know, freshened up, but it is the legit thing. 
consigner inherited it and uh, they're not going to redo it themselves so they asked us to sell it for them and we are thrilled and happy to do so next, sitting next to an 1840s wash stand the brown shoe company from st louis missouri advertising sign is pretty cool this set of uh, optic depression glass with the green 100 pieces it's an instant collection as gwen said this morning you just it's hard to find sets of any kind of consequence and i think there's eight of almost everything here there's only six of this size and the bulls there's only four of the big bulls there but there's just so much of it that it's just a great thing to find again more rugs on the floor we didn't even have space to put all the rugs out nice little fire stand tiger maple mirror Venice. This is a great piece here. This nice little, you know, the, the gilded type frame, the nice little genre painting. Love the nesting tables. Very sweet. And then here's the first of the big Santas. I think they're all right around five foot tall, except for the one in the corner that had this tree six up even higher. Here's more of those chairs, the stacking ones. Like I said, there's 16 of them total. Beautiful sets of candlesticks. These are silver plate, but uh, a set of four big with the two matching shorts. Like the centerpiece. The candlesticks, possibly Russian, somebody thought today. Uh, I'm not going to add that to the description, but definitely have that feel to them. Another set of four classic candlesticks there. Love the humidor. The, uh, the dog, carved dog head key is really fun, too. Nice pair of uh, Chinese Ancestor watercolors. Uh, I thought they were prints, actually, at first. They were so well done, but uh, I was corrected in that. And they're watercolors and very, very nice. Some fun pieces there, some bare doolittle. So here's the other Santa Claus that, uh, you know, the Santa Claus is about five foot tall. And then with the tree going up, I'm looking at the top of it. So it's got to be like 6'2", six, 6'3", six, give or take. There's Wedgwood in the case here. A lot of blue and white uh, Jasper Ware Wedgwood. But then there's this huge collection of Christmas. Uh, actually, two collections of Christmas. The more contemporary with the Wynn Haney's and the Karen Didion and the Drolleries and things like that, all from a collection, uh, including the large Santas. Like these large Santas were bought at Webster House for $1,500 to $2,000 a piece. A lot of these Lynn Haney's were $400, $500 a piece. Um, so if you're, if you collect Christmas, if you know somebody who does collect Christmas, this is a wonderful opportunity to buy some really great pieces at, at really great prices. Most of them have their boxes. We just have boxes underneath there, um, and around wherever we have them uh, displayed. Like we have this, I think this is a, uh, is this Karen Didion? Yeah, Karen Didion right here, the marionette. The box is right there next to it. The drolleries. That is uh, over here, the box is right there. So a lot of great Christmas. Nice little group of jewelry. And, uh, in different colors, some synthetic, but some really pretty pieces. Like the little group of boxes, they're fun. And then the vintage Christmas is from another collection that came in a house around July, but we decided to hold it until November for obvious reasons. But uh, several sections and collections of fence, fence, you know how hard it is to find. And there's like five different sets of it here. More rugs, another set of Minton. Uh, some Christmas pictures even. Bev Doolittle. There's, I think, eight Bev Doolittle prints in all, all told. More Asian works. Beautiful pair. Oh, it looks like I'm back. Um, these pots have been the subject of much admiration today. Because they are much larger in person, even with my figure, even with me standing behind them, they just are much bigger in person. For probably circa 1900 pots, you don't expect them to be nearly this big and impressive. And they make this couch and these tables look small. Have we picked up yet? All righty. These are uh, some more sterling pieces. Cartier water, watering cans, really sweet. The nice myosin type. Can you hand me one of our magazines? Set it down. Oh. So this is a super cool piece here. We were told that this 
let me get this right, is for looking at maps on a table. Federal era, you can see the inlaid decoration here. When you look through the mirror, the magnifying glass, you see what's on the table below it. So the magazine's there. Of course, it's backwards because it's a mirror, but how just super cool is that? Um, 1820s, 1830s, give or take, and just wonderful. Never seen another one, and uh, just a neat, neat thing. All those boxes are full of sterling flatware. There's sterling bowls, plates, trays, coin silver, including coin silver and sterling silver ladles. That is just to have a collection of that many. And several of them are from St. Louis, Jacquard, uh, and others. And then to wrap things up, we have the Eames like Sharon Ottoman. More rugs, another big, nice painting. But you can just tell it's a spectacular auction. Like I said, 550 lots, give or take. Hope you guys have a great holiday weekend. The auction's on Monday night. I'll have some posts over the weekend, even though we're not working, just to kind of keep you in, you know, and remind you what's going on. But thank you so much. It's, uh, we're coming up at the end of the year, another great year for us here at the KC Auction Company. Excited about what, the, what December is going to bring, and of course 2023, which is just around the corner. Thank you all again so much for watching, for participating in our auctions, for supporting us throughout the years, and hopefully we'll see you bidding on Monday and picking up next week. If you have any questions, post them below, send us a direct message. Otherwise, go to the auction, and good luck, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.